In this video, I have collected some of the must-have new mods for Fallout 4 that will improve your game in February 2024. From gameplay to animation, from visuals to outfits, and even the latest rifles, I have carefully selected the best mods for you. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, I would like to introduce some gameplay-related mods. There are a few mods that I want to share with you. First up is Challenges. Challenges mod adds fun and diverse challenges to Fallout 4, similar to those in Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 76. Completing challenges will grant you new perks, bonuses, rewards. You can view the challenges in a new Pip-Boy tab. The challenges are very lightweight, as most of the processing and condition checking is done by the engine, not by scripts. This mode does not cause script lag issues, the challenges currently include almost all of the Fallout New Vegas challenges and most of the Fallout New Vegas challenge perks, and some challenges have been modernized for faster processing and easier tracking. I hope you find this mod useful. Next up is Improved Hostile Factions. This mod improves the hostile factions in the game, such as Gunners, Raiders, Super Mutants, and more. It makes them stronger and more diverse. For example, it adds new variants of Gunners, such as Spec Ops and Black Ops, and it makes Raider veterans level up with the player. Also, this mod is compatible with Random Encounter Framework, which allows you to randomize the enemy's equipment and skills. This mod uses Robco Patcher to minimize conflicts with other overhaul mods and provide more exciting encounters. If you are interested, please give it a try. Next up is Jumping Requires AP. This mod makes you consume action points AP when you jump in Fallout 4. It increases the game's difficulty and balance and makes jumping more realistic. You can adjust the plugin's behavior and AP cost through the INI file and if you don't have enough AP, you can either disable jumping or make it smaller. If you want to add a more realistic jumping feature to your game, give this mod a try. Next up is Commonwealth Encounter Pack. This mod adds various encounters with enemies, allies, neutrals, animals, robots, and more to all regions of Commonwealth, Far Harbor, Nuka World, and Automatron. This mod is compatible with Random Encounter Framework mod and adds more fun and challenge to the gameplay. It is made as an ESL flag ESP, so it has minimal impact on the load order, but it may not be compatible with other mods that change the enemy level list, so please be careful when using it. In this corner, I will introduce some weapon-related mods. 2024 is a year when many weapon mods are being released. There are many mods, and I will try to introduce as many as possible. First up is Modern Warfare Rytec AMR. It is a semi-automatic anti-material rifle that uses 50 caliber bullets and has a sleek design. It has a sound that is not too loud but still feels heavy, and it has a lot of recoil in first-person view unlike in third-person view. You can craft it at the Chemistry Workbench, and it supports see-through scopes mod and Tactical Reload Framework mod so please keep that in mind when using it. Next up is Fallout 4 New Vegas, 44 Magnum Revolver. This mod adds a sleek 44 caliber revolver. What's unique about this mod is that it plays a distinctive music when you draw or holster the gun. It made me feel like I was an outlaw in the wasteland. The sound and reload animation are both excellent for this mod. It replaces the vanilla 44 pistol with this revolver in the leveled list, and if you install it during the play, the existing 44 will remain, and the new 44 Magnum will be spawned. Please keep that in mind when using it. Next up is Expansive Kalashnikov. This mod adds the AK-47 and the Resonant Rifle, inspired by Modern Warfare 2019, to Fallout 4. The sound, model, animation, and everything else are ported over. And the Resonant Rifle uses fusion cells, but you can also make it use 7.62 ammo depending on the modification. Not only that, but this mod also adds 40 mm grenades that you can normally throw. But if you equip a grenade launcher on this weapon and use it with the grenades, you can see the grenades being loaded and fired from the gun. The AK's unique feel and the futuristic feel of the resonant rifle make them really high quality weapons that I highly recommend. So I recommend that you try this weapon at least once. Next up is Tavor X95. 
This mod adds the Israeli bullpup assault rifle, Tavor X95, to the game. This mod features custom sound, first-person and third-person animations, and level list integration. It has a fairly fast rate of fire and low recoil, making it quite convenient to use. It also supports tactical reload. You can craft Taver X95 at the chemistry bench or obtain it with mods like ESP Explorer. It also supports various attachments and color options, so try it out if you like. Next up is Modern Warfare 2019 Holger 26 G36. This mod adds the Holger 26, a weapon that appears in Modern Warfare 2019, to Fallout 4. The Holger 26 is an electrically operated light machine gun that uses 5.56mm ammunition, and it can be seen as a modernized version of the G36. This mod supports the most features among the G36 weapons I have used, such as fake through scope, see through scopes, and tactical reload, and it has excellent sound and reload animation. If you are a fan of the G36 rifle, I highly recommend you to try this mod. Next up is the Modern Warfare Jack 12 Remastered mod. This mod adds the Jack 12 full auto shotgun from Modern Warfare to Fallout 4. It includes all animations and attachments, and the reason why it is marked as Remastered TM is that the animations have been reported, and a foregrip has been added. The sound and other things have also been adjusted and added, and the scope is from Modern Warfare 2022. Take this opportunity to upgrade your Jack-12 shotgun. In this corner, I'm going to introduce some animation-related mods that I want to share with you. First up is New Female Animations. This mod creates new movement animations for female characters. It changes the default animations and the pistol animations, and modifies animations for running, walking, standing, jumping, and more. You can enjoy balanced and feminine animations without being overly sexualized. This is an animation mod only for female characters, so if you like the motions in the video, you might want to try it out. Next up is Vanilla Reanimation Project, Assault Rifle. This mod improves the motion of the Vanilla Assault Rifle. It enhances the overall animation of drawing, firing, reloading, and running with the gun. In particular, the motion of pulling the right lever when reloading is quite detailed and cool looking. Moreover, the reload animation has some nice touches like flipping the hand to load the magazine. I decided to introduce this mod to you because of its impressive animation. If you like it, please give it a try. In this corner, I'm going to introduce you to two outfit mods that I found by searching Nexus as much as possible. First up is Vita Wardrobe 9. This mod is a female outfit mod made by a creator named Vita. This mod contains about 555 meshes and 2400 material swaps, boasting a huge size. With this mod, you can wear outfits of various styles and colors, such as bodysuits, dresses, skirts, tops, jackets, shoes, and more. These outfits are of high quality and detail. I hope you improve your character with Vita Wardrobe 9, which boasts this amazing quality and quantity. Next up is Battle Encounter Assault Regiment. This mod adds Russian Special Forces Officer outfits to the Commonwealth. These outfits can be crafted at the ChemLab mod, and all items have various appearance options and armor vests with magazines for different Russian weapons. These are unisex outfits that can give you a cool Special Forces vibe. Try these outfits to upgrade your atmosphere. In this corner, I will introduce some visual replacer mods for you. These are some of the mods created by Oppressor that I want to show you. First up is Sleeping Bag Replacer. This mod replaces the default sleeping bag model with a new 3D model and high quality texture. It gives you a more modern and practical feeling of sleeping bags, which enhances the immersion. The original one was too old and dirty, but this one gives you a more authentic feeling of sleeping bags. You can choose the color and the wear option. Next is Acid Replacer. This mod replaces the default acid with a new 3D model and high quality texture. There are three versions of textures, 1K, 2K, and 4K. And there are three styles, clean, dirty, and old. You can choose the texture and the style you want to install. Last but not least is Handcuffs Replacer. This mod replaces the default handcuffs model and texture with a new 3D model and high quality texture. With these mods, you can upgrade the Skyrim objects to a higher quality. 
Thank you for joining us in exploring the must-have new Fallout 4 mods for February 2024. We've covered gameplay, rifles, outfits, and animations, ensuring your wasteland experience is nothing short of extraordinary. If you found these mods intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more curated content. Stay tuned for more exciting mod showcases, and until next time, happy modding and happy gaming.